everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I'd do a ColourPop haul. The amount of times I've tried to film this intro today is beyond ridiculous. So I'm just going to get into it. I just want to quickly announce that I did move my table forward a little bit. So I'm closer to the window. I do like it a lot more. I feel like I'm a lot more brighter now and I feel like you can see things a bit clearer. I don't know, maybe it's all in my head. No idea. You can see my little bamboo plant. You can see my makeup collection, which I kind of want to move because it's really, really agitating me that like... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I need to move it. I don't know. Let me know if there's anything that I can do to the background to spruce it up a little bit. Let me know. Or if you want me to move back a bit. Let me know. Um, but anyway, let's get into the haul. So I wasn't really impressed with this order that I did. Um, not the products because I haven't really used them, but I'm sure the products are great. But in terms of the service, I feel like it wasn't as fast as my last order. I feel like my last order it was within the time frame that it has on the website, while this one, it was outside that. And I'm not really a big fan of if they're outside their guidelines of when they're going to be packing your stuff that they don't send out a bulk email. I'd prefer them to send me an email to say like, hey, we've been inundated with products, sorry, it will be on its way, then not hear anything and have to email them. I don't know, that's just personal preference, but I prefer that if they're like packing outside guidelines, tell us. I feel like I worry less that way. I don't know. I'm just being a snob. But anyway, let's get into the products. Also, there's one thing that I'm very, very, very disappointed about and I'll tell you about it when we get to it. I really wanted two of the blushes. I really wanted this shade because they said it was a, well, by they, I mean like the beauty community, said it was a really, really nice bronzer. This one's in the shade Aphrodisiac. And this is one of their blushes. These are $8, so they're not the $5 standard that most of ColourPop stuff is. Um, and this is a Super Shock Cheek Matte Shade. Um, I will swatch it for you. Because some people said in my last ColourPop haul I should swatch stuff. So here I'm swatching stuff for you. Excuse my fake tan hands. That's really, really bad on camera. I swear it's not even that bad. In oh my god, that hand is so much worse than this hand. What the? <laughs> I don't even know. But that's the shade Aphrodisiac. And that's a matte. I really, really like this one, but I haven't worn it on the cheeks yet. I feel like I wouldn't be wearing this as a bronzer. I don't know. I feel like I'd be using this as more like a neutral blush, as it should be. <laughs> I don't know. And then I have no idea why I bought this shade, but I'll try and use it even if it's as an eyeshadow. Um, this is also a sh super, <laughs> super shock cheek color, and it's also a matte finish in the shade Swift. Um, this one I feel like I'm not going to get as much use out of. But I feel like maybe I could do it really, really sheer. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of blush and this color isn't really my thing. But on the website, it looked beautiful. I don't know. Like, it's really, really pretty. Don't get me wrong. And I'll probably end up using it as an eyeshadow. But I don't know. I don't feel like I'd wear it on my cheeks. Like, I like bronzy colors on the cheeks or super light natural colors. And I don't think that that one would do it for me. I don't know. I really have to speed through this because I feel like the sun is going down really, really fast. I hate daylight savings. I'm not even adjusted yet and it's been ages. Um, this is the Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Etiquette or, yeah, Etiquette. Um, and this is a pearlized finish. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Oh my God. Do you guys see that? That is so beautiful. Oh my God. This is in the shade Rex another navy blue color. I was actually really, really digging the navy blues, so I thought that I'll get this one as well. <gasps> that one's so pretty as well. I feel like I like this one more than I like that one though. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and that one is a metallic finish. The next one that I got was in the shade Tea Party, if I can open it. Oh, this color's so pretty. Oh, and that's a metallic finish as well. And that's what it looks like on my hand. It's actually a bit more chunky and you can't really see it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that might be a nicer top coat color. This one's in the shade Drift. This is a beautiful, beautiful red mahogany beautifulness color. I'm so excited for this, especially in the um, winter time. So pretty. This one's the shade Lovely, and this is a metallic finish eyeshadow. Ooh, pretty. So it's just that shade there. This one is in the shade Hammered. This is so, so gorgeous as well. I'm so bad at describing colors, so I'm not even gonna try, but this is a metallic finish. 
Oh my gosh, that color is so beautiful. It's like an olivey gray color. Love that. And I feel like the light is going away really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. So I'm going to go through these really, really fast. This is in the shade Shameless. This is again a metallic blue. I'm not... Navy blue, not metallic blue. Navy blue. That color's gorgeous. And it's not even too similar to like these blues. It's like a different type of blue. I'm actually not even going to swatch anymore because the light is going down so, so fast and I want to get this video out to you guys. Um, so I did get the shade So Cliche or So Cliche. I'm not too sure to pronounce that word and I get so much shit for not knowing, not knowing how to pronounce words, but whatever. I don't even care. This color is really, really beautiful. It's like got a pretty duo chrome to it. Really, really, really pretty. And that was a metallic finish. This color is Lace. And this color is just like a very, very vibrant purple color. And that is a pearlized finish. This is in the shade Envy. And this is a very, very, very beautiful color. It's got like purple and gold sparkles in it. And that is a metallic finish also. Ooh, I feel like the lighting is going down so fast. Um, this is in the shade Mooning. Oh my God, I use this today on my eyelids, like on the outer corner, and it was so, so pretty, but it was so messy to use. Um, and that is in a pearlized finish. Two last Super Shock eyeshadows. Um, actually, these are the two that I have on my eyes today with Mooning. This is in the shade Lala. It's like the most beautiful rose gold, rose gold color. If you love rose toned shades, you need this in your life. That is a ultra metallic and it is so 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 pretty you need it in your life it's like five dollars you need it and then this color is in the shade girly um i don't know i don't really like this one i don't feel feel like it does too much but that's pearlized finish i'll quickly talk about the one thing that i'm most dissatisfied about with this i don't order lippy pencils i'm not the biggest fan of lip liners i have the few that i own and i'm very very content with what i own i don't really feel like i need other ones but, and I, I even checked the receipt and everything and my packing slip. My packing slip, I ordered the lippy stick of this and they gave me the lippy pencil. Ugh, so annoyed. But this is in the shade Brills. I'm not happy that they gave me a lippy pencil instead of a lippy stick, but at least now I can try the lippy sticks. Like, I'm still pretty pissed off that I got a lippy stick instead of a, a lippy pencil instead of a lippy stick, but now I at least get to try that formula. But to be honest, I don't own any lipstick that is like a lilac. Sorry about my swatching fingers, but I don't own any lip liners that are a lilac color. So I pretty much don't have any use for this at all. Um, but I will swatch it for you guys. That's the shade there, and it's called Brills. The one up the very, very top. Nice lip liner. Don't have any use for it, really. We'll try and find a use for it, but I don't have any use for it at the moment. And then I did get a few lippy sticks. Whoa. That should have been a lippy stick, but it wasn't, so I was kind of angry. But whatever. So I'm just going to go through these really, really fast. This is in the shade Flawless, and it is a satin finish. It looks like that swatches like this I actually really really like that color so so pretty I have the shade lady which is a matte shade if I can get it open I actually really really like this packaging it's really really nice <gasps> that shade is gorgeous oh my gosh I love that shade there it's the second one in that's called lady oh my god I love that this is in a shade cookie I've heard a lot of people talk about the shade so I thought that I would pick it up I'm swatching in the most awkward places now, so I'm sorry. That is that one there. Really, really pretty. I feel like it would actually go with what I have on today. Oh, yep. Yep, I love this. Dang, my hands are stained from those um, eyeshadows. This one's got the cutest name. It's I Heart This. So cute. So cute. And the color is gorgeous. This is in the shade Trixie. It's like a vibrant pink. Oh, oh my gosh, this shade is so gorgeous. I feel like that would look amazing in the summertime. That one there. <gasps> I'm swatching in the most awkward places. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Um, but that is a satin finish. This one is called Pitch and it's a matte. I love this shade. Saw it on the website and I was like, you are mine. Um, it's just a brown color, but like, seriously, so gorgeous. It's got some red undertones to it, so I feel like it's gonna be really, really, really wearable. And I feel like I have no idea what the lighting's doing at the moment. Like, I feel like I'm very, very white now. 
Nah. I wish that it would just make up its mind. Like, the sun's not setting. It's only about 2 o'clock. But, like, it's getting all funny. And now I think I hear rain. Eh. Anyway, um, this is in the shade Frenchie. And this is a matte finish. It looks like this. I love this shade. I've already worn it a few times. So, so pretty. This, I feel like, is less creamy than the others. But it does last a bit better. And that's Frenchie there. Sorry, I'm like swatching in the most awkward places now. I just don't want to swatch any further down my arm because then it will like destroy my shirt. The next color I'm going to show you guys, you're going to be like, Laura, what's wrong with you? I bought a green one because I thought it would be really, really cool to try green lipstick. And this is in the shade Bunny. I don't like the pearlized finishes. I'm going to put it out there. And I also don't like this color on its own. I like putting it under, say, a darker color like that one. And then it just makes a really, really pretty dark wearable green. While on its own, it looks like this. And I don't feel like it's very, very nice. It's like pretty much a bright green. I feel like if you put it over, say, that color, it at least makes a darker green. That's a really, really bad example. But I tried mixing around with a few lipsticks that I already own. And I made a darker green and I was actually quite happy with it. And my hair is going crazy. Ugh. But yeah, I was really, really happy with it. So I'll probably try and do maybe a look using green lipstick. Would you guys be interested? Let me know. Because <laughs> I'm actually pretty, pretty scared. Like, I love playing with lipsticks. It's my favorite. But I feel like no one would watch it. <laughs> or no one would find it helpful. But let me know if you want to see how I would wear green lipstick. And then this last shade is called Ellery. I don't know how you say that, but I'll write it down below. It's a matte finish. Again, it's a super dark color. Oh, it's not as dark as what I thought. <gasps> that color is gorgeous. And my face is itchy. That color is so, so, so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So the lighting hasn't fully gone down yet or fully turned to shit yet. So I really want to just watch La La for you. Out of every shade that I've bought from ColourPop, I think this is my current favorite. It's called La La or LA LA. I'm not too sure. Um, but it is gorgeous, so I wanted to swatch it for you guys. It's so ridiculously creamy, like so ridiculously creamy, but it is so beautiful at the same time. Can you see it if I swatch there? Okay. Seriously, like it is so beautiful. It's that shade there, and it's so metallic, but it's so gorgeous. It's what I have on my eyes today. Um, I love it so much. If you don't have this and you love rose gold, you need this in your life. Seriously. Like, if you could only get one thing out of this whole haul, get this shadow. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And sorry about my fake tan hands. <laughs> what can you do, right? Okay, guys. So, that's all the products that I bought from ColourPop. Definitely comment down below what your favorite colors are or what are on your wish list. Because I will most probably be doing another ColourPop order sometime soon. Because I love ColourPop. Their stuff are so, so good. Um, so, yeah. Comment down below what is on your wish list or what you love from ColourPop and I'll definitely check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.